Eric Ten Hag's job is on the line. With the way Manchester United have been going this season, the Dutchman is definitely at risk of losing his job pretty soon. They're struggling in the Premier League, struggling in the Champions League and are already out of the EFL Cup. Who knows? His sack letter is probably in the typewriter right now. But if he does get sacked, who could replace him? That's what we're here to look at today. These are five perfect Eric Ten Hag replacements at Manchester United. Roberto De Zerbi seems to be the most common name on the lips of Man United fans all over the world. He came into the Premier League and absolutely took it by storm. He was quick to establish his style of play at Brighton and was able to get the club to a European competition for the first time in their history. United fans have complained that the club lacks identity under Ten Hag and this is what makes De Zerbi really appealing to them. The style of play he's established at Brighton is clear for all to see. They'll be hoping that he can come to Old Trafford and replicate that. De Zerbi has also shown that he has good talent ID and for a club who has seen their coach spend a lot of money on signings like Anthony, Onana and Mount, a coach who's really good at recruiting would feel like a breath of fresh air. Hiring Roberto De Zerbi would feel like Man United are trying to secure their future, but if they're after a really quick fix, they could go for Antonio Conte. The Italian boss is a proven winner. He's won league titles at three clubs, including the Premier League with Chelsea, so the guy knows the league very well. Also, Conte is known for his counter-attacking style. You look at the personnel at United, and you just get the feeling that they'd be perfect for his style. Flying fullbacks, a solid defensive midfielder, a really good attacking midfielder, and really fast attackers. Conte cooked with Lukaku and Martinez at Inter Milan. Surely he'll be able to cook with Hoyland and Rashford. Hoyland, who has a similar profile to Lukaku. And Rashford's pace and finishing can fill the spot for Martinez. Conte could recreate another lethal partnership at United. And hey, Antonio Conte is currently out of a job, so it would be much easier to hire him than, say, De Zerbi or Julian Nagelsmann. But if United could get Nagelsmann, it would be a really good one for them. To be honest, you can hardly say Nagelsmann has ever failed as a coach. He was a huge success at Leipzig and was unfairly sacked at Bayern Munich despite having done nothing wrong last season. Nagelsmann is young, creative, innovative and willing to take risks to outwit his opponents. The German boss is known for playing high-intensity football, holding possession and often playing a counter-press style. And if you look at the top clubs in the Premier League right now, these are the styles they implement, from City to Spurs to Arsenal and Liverpool. So, if United can get a coach who can properly implement this style of play, then they could really get to where they want to be in the league. But hey, Man United could just go a little unorthodox and sign a less-known coach in honest slot. Slot might not be the most popular manager, but he has proven to be great at what he does. The guy was hired by Feyenoord in 2021, and in just his second season in charge, he won them the league for the first time in five years. Slot loves his football, ultra-attacking, entertaining, and has even already started drawing comparisons with the likes of Pep Guardiola and Marcelo Bielsa. And guess what? He once expressed his interest in one day coaching a Premier League side and was even linked with Spurs in the summer. Should United be interested in getting him, we don't think they'd have much trouble signing him. Moreover, after having won the league over the likes of Ajax and PSV, there's a huge chance that he's currently feeling unmotivated in the Netherlands and could be looking to try on a new challenge. Or, you know what? Man United could just go big and go for Zinedine Zidane. He's still one of the most successful coaches in Europe and he's still available. Zizou has shown great ability to manage a star-studded squad and that's one area Ten Hag appears to be greatly lacking in, having fallen out with Cristiano Ronaldo and Jadon Sancho in less than two years. It's crazy how much success great man management can help a group of players achieve. And honestly, you look at the way that Zidane's Madrid attacked and that looks exactly like the United way. He just seems like the perfect fit for the club. Convincing him to take the job might be harder than every other person on this list, but he'd definitely be worth it if the club manages to pull him in. And remember, Zidane normally draws respect from players just out of how great he was as a player himself. He's one of the greatest ever, and some of these players idolize him, so they're naturally more willing to listen to and learn from him. We're pretty sure Varane and Casemiro will be itching for this signing more than anybody else at the club right now. But if you were in charge at Man United, who would you sign to replace Eric Ten Hag? Zidane? De Zerbi? Conte? Or would you not elect to sack Ten Hag at all and instead give the Dutchman some more time? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.